Don't let the blue screen of death get you down. I will show you how to fix this problem step by step. So let's begin. Click on advanced options. Select troubleshoot. Then click on advanced options. Now select command prompt. Now type chkdsk space slash f space slash r space c colon and hit enter then we need to wait for some time to complete the process once done move to the next step now we need to type this command c colon and simply press enter then type cd space c colon slash and hit enter type in cd space windows and press enter now type cd space system32 and we need to execute this command for that simply hit enter now type cd space config and hit enter now execute this command type md space backup and simply hit enter now type copy space star dot star space backup and simply hit enter to execute the command now execute this command type md space backup one then hit enter now type copy space star dot star space backup one and hit enter type in cd space regback and hit enter to execute the command execute this command type dir then simply hit enter now type copy space star dot star space dot dot and hit enter then type all and hit enter now type bootrec space slash fix mbr and hit enter to execute the command type bootrec space slash fix boot and hit enter now execute this command cd space c colon slash now type cd space windows slash system32 slash config slash regback and hit enter to execute type bcd edit space slash export space c colon slash bcd back backup and simply hit enter to execute this command type cd space c colon slash and hit enter now type this md space boot and hit enter now type cd space boot and simply hit enter now type md space bcd and simply hit enter to execute this command type cd space c colon slash and hit enter now type attrib space c colon dash boot dash bcd space dash h space dash r space dash s and hit enter to execute now type run space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space bcd dot old then hit enter type bootrec space slash rebuild bcd and hit enter type exit and hit enter now click on continue it will restart your system so that's it guys your problem is solved and you are good to go